Hey everyone, today's topic is going to be just give me one more chance, please. Think about that for a minute. Everyone, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share this message with someone who can use it. So I'll jump right into it. When you hear that those words, just give me one more chance with or without the last word, please. It usually means it's the ending of a relationship, at least for a period of time. And most times when the individual who is saying, just give me one more chance, please, when they're saying that, they can identify that perhaps they could have done better. They could have tried harder. Perhaps they made a mistake or multiple mistakes. Perhaps they treated the other individual poorly, etc. This is the ending, as I mentioned, to many relationships when one individual has to say those words and the other individual many times will decline. They'll say, no, uh, I can't do it. I just can't do it. I've, I've seen too many red flags. You haven't changed your behavior. Now, with that set up, let's go back to the narcissistic relationship. There will be times throughout the relationship in the past, my hope is you're out of the relationship, when you will say things like that, like just give me one more chance, please. Now, when you're in that relationship and you're saying those words, in the way back of your mind, I can assure you, you already knew the relationship was over. You did, you probably didn't want to admit it, but you probably sensed that something was off. And I can assure you, if you were in a narcissistic relationship, you said those words multiple times when you were in the relationship. Now, why am I saying that? I'm saying that because you, again, most likely were in the narcissistic fog, the zombie-like, trance-like state where you were working for the narcissist, the exact same place where the narcissist positioned you. They wanted you feeling inferior to them. They wanted you begging them to stay in the relationship. They wanted you pining for them. They wanted you to basically say, just give me one more chance, please. Now, when you would say that, if you did say it, first of all, drop comments below, but second of all, if you said it, it's because you most likely did everything you could do, but the narcissist flipped everything around on you and they were testing you and they were the person who was doing the horrible things. They were the person who was gaslighting, giving you the silent treatment, instilling the smear campaign, you were experiencing rage fits, all the things I mentioned on the channel, but they had you so deeply entrenched in the narcissistic fog, you would say things as the thumbnail, the thumbnail mentioned, or you would say something like, just give us one more chance, please, or let's let's work harder on this, or let's let's continue, let's 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 try a new idea. So you would say things like that. Now, would would the narcissist say things like that? I'll get into that in a minute. But remember, most likely you were you were apologizing for things you didn't do. You were apologizing for things you didn't say. You were apologizing for a one-way relationship that was leading you to destructionsville, although you didn't know that. Remember, you did not know what narcissism was. You did not know what you were up against. The narcissist, every time you would say those kind of words to them, please give me another chance or give us another chance, whatever you would want to say, things like that, what would they do? They would be sitting there gobbling up that supply like it is Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving dinner, whatever holiday you want to insert there. And they'd be like, well, I really have this one. Like, this is just amazing. I have done my best to manipulate them, to manipulate them, to crush them. I have them so brainwashed and so deep in the narcissistic fog, they're actually apologizing for things that I've been doing to them, Not, but they're taking ownership. And you know what? Good job for me. By the way, I'm saying I'm the narcissist because they're saying good jobs themselves because they've done such a great job manipulating you that you really want to stay in the relationship and you are being accountable for their poor behavior. Think about this. This is what happens. Now, I want to flip the script for a minute. If the narcissist, let's say that it's, it's the other way around. The narcissist says, hey, just give us another chance, will you? They're not gonna say the please word. You can notice that for, right off the bat. They're not gonna say please for anything. They're gonna just tell you how it is, but they will say that. They will come back many times after the relationship has ended, i.e. during a Hoover period. Not all the time, but many times. And they will say things like what I just mentioned, like the thumbnail mentioned without the word please. They'll say, hey, give us one more chance. And that they will really be testing you. Now, why they're testing you there again is because they want to see if you have healed they want to see how see how strong you are they want to see if you actually know who they are they want to draw you back into that relationship for another round of abuse maybe it's the second third 15th time you've gone back to the narcissist because you haven't broken the trauma bond and you haven't quite understood that these relationships don't benefit you in other words you're probably in it so deep that that's why you take them back at times but this video isn't about hoover it's to let you know that when somebody, anybody says those words, just give me one more chance, please. That means they know that they made a mistake, most likely, except for the first part of this video, which I shared with you because you were entrenched in the narcissist fog. 
but this part's not about narcissism. Most people, when they say that, they realize they made a mistake, they want to atone for it, they want to make up for it, they realize they did something wrong, and they want one more opportunity to prove themselves, that's what they will say. Now, flipping it back to the narcissistic relationship, when you hear those words, and they come from the narcissist, you need to really tread with caution. You need to understand that that person just wants to take you down in the quagmire, the low vibrational state with them again. In other words, it's most likely a Hoover, or you have shown a backbone, and you've shown that you want to put up a boundary, and they will play ball with you for a short period of time, making it seem like, yeah, they're gonna work with you. They're gonna be on their best behavior. I'm talking about the narcissist. They're gonna do what they can, but all they're doing is buying time to ultimately discard you or leave you on the side of the road crumbled up like a sheet of paper on the freeway. Because once you put that boundary in place and once you agree to give them another chance or they agree to give you another chance, all it's gonna do is extend the length of the relationship, which ultimately will implode because every narcissistic relationship has an expiration date. Now think about what I'm sharing with you. When you were in the relationship, you probably said things like that many times. Just please, try, work, do your best, give a little bit, contribute. Can't you see that you're, you're destroying this relationship? You would say things like that. And again, this is before you had the wisdom about narcissism. So what were you doing when you were doing, when you were speaking to the narcissist in ways like that? You were being compassionate, empathetic, loving, kind. You were being honest and you were trying your best to save the relationship. What was the narcissist doing when you were saying things like that? They were sincerely giving you lip service, blame shifting. They would pay attention a little bit and claim that, yeah, they could try it again, or sure, well, I guess we could. But the whole time, they were devaluing you again, and they realized that the they realized themselves that, that relationship was on, on the tail end of it, and they were looking for your replacement. Now, keep this in mind. I say it so frequently on the channel. The narcissist is always on a, a search, a quest, if you will, for the ultimate person, the perfect person who doesn't make mistakes. There's no such thing. We know that, you know that, I know that. The narcissist haven't, hasn't figured that out yet because they are shallow and they're actually clueless. They have no, no idea what's going on. They're always looking to trade up or to trade individuals in like you would trade on a car lot in to get a, a different new shiny toy, whether the car functions or not. That's what they want to do. And that's why many times when the relationship has ended, let's say you were discarded and if you were, my heart goes out to you. That's why many times, once you wrap your head around narcissism, you say to yourself, wow, I can't believe this. Like they're living their best lives. They're out crushing it. No and no. Many times they meet another narcissist or another person who I will not use any acronyms, but they meet people that are just as challenging and or toxic, toxic as themselves. What they won't meet, I can assure you, is a kind, loving, beautiful, abundant person like yourself. They won't, no matter what you think. And okay, let's say that, no, Andrew, actually the narcissist I was in a relationship with, they found another empath. Okay, fair enough, that does happen. But think about it, would you wanna be that empath even for a minute? Of course you wouldn't, because they're being abused just like you were, if not worse, in a shorter period of time. That's how these relationships go. The, the path for the narcissistic relationship is to remove yourself from it any way you possibly can. If you're strong enough and you can remove yourself out of the relationship, you do it. If you were discarded, I get it, it's a very difficult pill to swallow. Either way, they're, they're both challenging things. But the idea is once the relationship has ended, you have to put yourself back together. You'll have a mountain of work to process, a mountain of work to do, and you will learn about yourself. While you are healing, the narcissist will be reeling. Think about it. That is not a play on words. It's that the narcissist will eventually be missing you, the person watching the video. They really will, because they'll say, wow, that person did everything for me. They paid the bills, they raised the kids, they planned vacations, they paid vacations. They kept me around as, I mean, I, I was their sounding board. They straightened me out. That's what they'll be saying, things like that. Now, are they gonna do that every day? Absolutely not. Are they gonna do that when they're on the couch watching Netflix with the new supply? Yes, they will, believe me when I tell you. Why? Because the narcissist is always comparing sources of supply. They're always comparing it in the back of their tiny little brain. It's true. And I can assure you, if you made it this far in the video, you are, or were one of the best sources of supply ever. Now again, I don't like to use the term sources of supply. I'll say you were one of the best partners in a relationship you, possible. But what has happened is post relationship you've healed, you've introspected, you've journaled, you've seen a therapist, you've meditated, you've watched videos, you have taken time to process the relationship and to put boundaries in place. The only thing the narcissist did is glom on to another unsuspecting individual. They can't introspect, they don't love, they have zero empathy. All they wanna do is extract resources, we now know that. So getting back on track to the thumbnail, 
can we just give it another chance, please? Can you give, just give me another chance, please? Whichever, however you want to phrase those things. That was you most likely in the relationship. It, it, not, it doesn't exclusively had to have been you, but most likely it was you for a period of time. And you were being tricked into saying that because the narcissist knew if they accepted that, those terms by, from you, that they were gonna crush you even more, that they were gonna certainly get your replacement because they know that you, the tank is running low. And C, they didn't care about you. Now, why I'm saying that is because, keep this in mind, you were trying to save the relationship. You were trying to be respected. You were trying to be honored, loved, cherished. You were trying to build a future. The narcissist was trying to tear you down to future fake you, financially abuse you. They wanted you pining for them, crawling back to them, believing that they could have the answers to the questions of the relationship. And that's what you thought. The truth is the narcissist will never give you any honest answers about virtually anything, specifically the body of the relationship you were part of. That's why the narcissist won't give you closure because they can't give you closure and because they don't want to give you closure. They want you stuck, trapped, entrenched in the narcissistic fog. That's where they want you. They never thought you would heal. They never thought you would break out of the narcissistic trauma bond. They didn't, but you did, and here you are, and that's a great thing. So understand this. Now, again, if the narcissist, when they try to hoover you, many times they will say that. They'll say, oh, I've changed. I, I've seen a therapist, a counselor. I'm so much better. I found myself. I miss you. You were the love of my life. Just give us one more chance. They'll, they'll come at you with anything under the sun. As long as you take a bite of that forbidden fruit, that's all they care about. They remember, they don't care about you. They care about what you provide, a house, a roof, a car, resources, how they look, social status, whatever. That's what they care about. They don't care about you as a beautiful, bright, shining light, as, as you as a abundant, beautiful, amazing individual. No, they care about what you provide for them. And again, remember, each relationship ends in these narcissistic relationships, and usually they don't, they don't end well. So think about what the message is here today. Just give us another chance, please. When, you, when you're saying things like that, that means in the back of your mind, and this is my take, you may not agree, if you don't, drop comments below, that you, know, or you already know the relationship is over. You really, really do. It's just that you're still entrenched in the, with this individual, whether they're a narcissist or not, you're still, you're still caught up with them and you, you think that that relationship will serve you and it will improve. Most times those things don't improve, they really don't. And there's a reason that you got to that point in time where you had to say something like, just give me another chance, please. When you have to say something like that, yes, you do make mistakes, so do I. I get that, that's, that's one thing, just making a mistake. But in a relationship, if you get to that point, that means you've made some mistakes or the individual who's saying it to you realizes that they've made mistakes and they want to improve. Before I close the video, remember, actions speak louder than words. Anyone can walk up to you and say any words that they want to. They can promise you they've changed. They can promise you they want to improve. They can promise you they're gonna be on their best behavior, etc. It's their actions. Watch how they behave. Watch if they're on their smartphone. Watch if they're ignoring you. Watch if they are triangulating you. Watch if they're gaslighting you. Watch if they're on time. Watch when, they, when you say the strongest word in the English language to them, which is no. Test it out once. Just say no to somebody. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm saying as an exercise for yourself. But a relationship that you're not so sure about, say no, see what happens. Does the person welcome the word no with open arms? Like, hey, I understand, no problem. We'll get together at a later date. Or are they trying to worm their way around your no and break your boundary? And again, keep you stuck in that relationship. Think about it. The best example is this, watch this one. Uh, for a phone call, we, most of us have smartphones these days. So if someone calls you, well, you can see the phone ring on your smartphone and you can decide whether you want to answer it or not. Very simple, that's what you do, right? Okay, great. So if you answer it, you answer it. If you don't, you don't. Now think about this. Here's a pro tip for people trying to steal your energy. If, you're, if someone calls you once and you don't answer it, and they call you right back a couple minutes later and you don't answer it, and then a couple more, and you look at your phone, let's say that you were in a meeting, you get out of, your, out of the meeting and you look and this individual has called you nine times, seven times, whatever, and you're like, what's going on here? Now, that could be an emergency. I recognize that. Let's put the emergency to the side. Let's say it's not an emergency. That means somebody is really trying to get to you and to explain something to you. Basically, they're trying to consume your energy for the most part. If this happens over and over again, they have no boundaries and they need to look elsewhere for someone to be a sounding board. I'll tell you why. Because we can all see when someone called on our phone. If you call once or seven times, if it's not answered, it's not answered. 
So think to yourself, why is that person calling you multiple times? Think about it. A healthy individual is gonna call you once. Again, throwing the emergency factor out of the window, but a healthy individual is gonna call you once. They're gonna give you the space and the time to look, recognize they called you, and if you wanna return the call, you do. If you don't, you don't. Think about it. So just give me one more chance, please. Think about it. That's what you most likely said to the narcissist throughout the relationship, or maybe at the end when you were still in the trauma bond. It's very possible. But back then, you didn't know what you know now. That's a good thing. Second thing is, if the narcissist says that to you, it's most likely during a Hoover or an attempted Hoover. Don't accept a Hoover. Nothing good will happen to it. If you've never been Hoovered before, consider it a badge of honor. That means you're doing a great thing. If you have been Hoovered, please don't accept it. It's not going to benefit you. You will just get caught up, perhaps, caught up in the relationship, and it will not end well like it didn't end the first time or the first bunch of times. So, guys, that's the video. I really hope you followed that because I impacted a whole lot. That's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from the beautiful Carolinas. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great afternoon. Stay true. Stay blessed. Continue to become awakened and aware and understand you are the priority. You come first, second, and third. No matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. Remember that you are not alone. God bless you. I love you, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye, you guys. I hope you followed that video because that was, was a lot to unpack there. All right. Bye.